Well, hello everybody, Doug Rucker here with DougRuckerSchool.com and DougRuckerStore.com. Hey, we're located right here in the Houston, Texas area. We're located in Porter, which is right outside of Kingwood, Texas. Uh, very quick to get to us from Spring, the Woodlands, New Caney, Houston, all over Houston. We are your Houston, Texas pressure washing and soft washing supply store. Hey. Got another build, just uh, finished another trailer, and so thought I'd show you that. I know I've done a few rig build videos here lately, but uh, gonna get back to some more training stuff here in the next couple of weeks, but just kind of wanted to show you our latest build. So we've got that coming up next. Hey guys, real quick before I get started on the rig, don't forget to hit that subscribe and then also hit the bell so you get notifications every time I come out with a video that could help you leave a like, a comment, or a question. I'd love to help you guys out. And I'm going to get back to doing some uh, good training stuff here pretty soon uh, within the next week or so. Got some other videos coming out and uh, get off these rig builds because I'm sure y'all are tired of looking at them. But anyway, thank y'all so much for watching. Have a blessed day and now let's get to the rig. Okay guys, so this is another one of our pretty much our standard basic trailer rigs for residential and even commercial and we've got that eight gallon per minute cold water uh, machine on it uh, this is the Doug Rucker commercial series made by PowerJet and we also have a loud truck go by also have a 24 inch little big guy surface cleaner uh, we've got it plumbed down here at the inlet so that uh, it's with banjo so you can take that off and you can cap it to keep the water from coming out or you can use that to uh, fill up a bucket drain the water whatever you need to do uh, two 100 gallon tanks all plumbed using uniseals this is the water tank here we've got it vented because these uh, lids on these tanks do not have vents so it's pretty much uh well it is leak proof it can slosh around it's not going to come out it's not going to come out of that hole um but again as far as all the plumbing is concerned we're using the uniseals so that there's no chance of air leaks and any connection in the tank so 201 uh two 100 gallon tanks one for water one for bleach spare 50 foot hose come around here we've got an electric reel here hand a electric for water supply to fill up the water hose then we've got an assortment of guns that they'll need and uh, an adjustable wand a couple of longer wands and of course there's a uh, wand that comes with it gun and wand that comes with it so uh, here we have our three-way valve so Basically what happens is when it's turned towards the water tank, it's gonna fill the water tank up. When you turn it up, you've got a garden hose here with a garden hose uh, sprayer that you can use to spray down the trailer. You can use it to fill a bucket if you need to, whatever you need, an external water source, uh, eye wash, you know, wash your face off, whatever. Um, so that's what that's for. Then over here, we've got the three-way control for the Flow Pro remote control system. So when it's turned up into that position like that, it's not gonna leak anywhere, draw any bleach or water. When it's turned towards the bleach tank, which would be this way, and you hit mix, you're going to draw your bleach mix at the end when you're done you turn it this way towards a water tank hit mix on the remote then you draw water only and that's going to uh, rinse your injector out we always leave it in the middle position when we're not leaving it so that's the flow pro remote system there's the box so you can easily see it from the street then we have the king slinger soft wash system 10 gallon per minute pump and uh, mixing valves, air water separator, and then we also have what we call a supplemental hose 
So this can attach to this third valve because we don't use the third valve. We just add the soap to our bleach tank. But you could use this third valve. You could run it to a soap tank if you wanted to. We most often use it for when we're using our wrap to clean gutters on two-story houses. We can hook this supplemental hose up, run it to a five-gallon bucket, and then we can spray uh, gutters, two, three-story gutters up high um, without having to use a pump-up sprayer or ladders or anything like that. We can use it for degreaser for parking lots. Um, if you have a situation where you have to spray a lot of acid, this pump you can spray acid through. So. A lot of uses for the supplemental hose tank. I'm just not a fan of metering soap. I just add it to my bleach tank. Um, saves a lot of downtime from exhausting soap tanks or whatever. So then we also over here have the drain kit installed. So when he uh, needs to drain the barrels, all he has to do is grab this lever, pull it up, and it will drain the barrels of any water that has built up inside of there. Then we have two more Hane electric hose reels. We do have the circuit breakers inside. We actually ran all the wiring down through the piping so there's no exposed uh, wiring down inside the trailer. And then it comes back out there. Got grommets on it to seal it up. And we have the circuit breaker, 40 amp circuit breaker. If you ever use these Hane electric reels, um, you need to make sure you have a circuit breaker on there to keep the warranty intact. It tells you that on the reels. So if you happen to order these from us and install them themselves, you need to make sure you've got some type of breaker. Um, this is a plate that we customize for the reels and uh, because we have the circuit breaker and all and the wiring and everything. It just is a nice, neater look. So that's pretty much it. It's a 12 by 14 trailer. We had the ladder rack fabricated. And what will happen here is he'll put signs that will go up this bar. Uh, some guys will go to the top. Some guys will come across and then come back down. So you've got signage for marketing and advertising your business. <clears throat> And then the ladder uh, rack is low enough and easy enough to load ladders. So you don't need a ladder to get to the ladder. And uh, he's gonna, the owner of this is contemplating whether he's going to keep the tailgate on it. He may put signs on the back of it, but something he's, I don't think has decided yet. So there you go. Very nice, uh, what I call basic easy fundamental money making rig uh, eight gallon per minute machine kingslinger soft wash system 24 inch surface cleaner two 100 gallon tanks hose reels uh, we do also have the bleach tank vented where did he there it is right there so there's the hose there for the bleach tank that goes down to the floorboard and out to the back of the trailer to vent the bleach again guys the reason we vent the bleach tank is because if you open that lid and you fill your bleach from there with that lid open it off gases and that those fumes will come up and they go down because they're heavier than air and that causes corrosion on your trailer all of your equipment and everything so we actually install another hose here which he can hook up to a pump and he can fill his bleach uh, without ever having to open that lid so um, just keep that in mind if you're looking at trailer rigs make sure your bleach tank is always vented all right hope you guys have enjoyed this I know I've been showing a couple of rigs lately um, so we'll get back to trying to help you guys with some other teaching stuff and whatever. But I always like to show off the rigs that we build um, just in case we can help other people. So y'all have an awesome day. Another thing we do, guys, is we have uh, two railings going across here. 
And so you can use that for five gallon buckets or X jet buckets if you want to uh, carry around five gallons of your soap or uh, if you're an X jetter, need to use an X jet bucket or you want to use that as a soap bucket or whatever. It's just a place to store five gallon or X jet buckets for whatever purpose that you may need to. Also, here is the pressure wash gun assembly for downstreaming with the J-Rod nozzles on it. Also have a couple of adjustable cone nozzles for the Kingslinger soft wash system that allows them to control this bleach. And basically what it does is it turns the soft wash system back into a pump-up sprayer. You know, I often explain to people basically all a soft wash system is is a pump-up sprayer on steroids. It just allows you to shoot further more volume um, without having to stop and add you know your mix to the pump up sprayer pump it up all that kind of stuff so in areas around especially delicate landscaping or things you don't want the bleach to get on you can use this to mist your bleach mix on it um, they're about 18 bucks or so I've got a couple of videos on using these if you want to check it out um, and then also a water-fed pole adapter for uh, his reach at pole system so on the filtration system he can hook this up and he can actually flush his lines out real good and he can use the soft wash hose up there and connect to the filtration um, tanks of the reach at water-fed pole system and it can use the water in the tank to spray uh, or to deliver the water uh, using the pump on the Kingslinger instead of having to hook up to a garden hose. We have a lot of cases, especially commercial properties, where water can be, uh, let's say, not all over the place, uh, can be lacking. And so moving around a property, sometimes it's easier just to use the Kingslinger soft wash system and we'll use the supplemental uh, valve, which I talked about a little bit earlier, and uh, just hook directly up to that and uh, use our bleach. Not our bleach. Use the water from the tank to supply to the water-fed pole to clean the windows instead of hooking directly to a faucet. Okay. So, This has no memory, so if you're walking around, you want to shut the water flow off. You can pinch this; that'll shut the water off. I'm gonna go right back to where. Okay. okay. So you can do two things: you can run it up to here if you want. I don't ever do it that way. What I do is come up here, and I'll run it through the last one. And all you do is push this into here that and you've got another hose slot right there yeah okay so that goes down right in between there for a pinch okay okay and you close it like that okay so this will operate like that if you pull this open like that just how you want your head to sit close it close back and forth like that Ooh carry this but I found that if I stick this down on the ground sometimes it'll fall over so I always carry it in a five pound bucket okay and so if you're hooking up to a garden hose you're gonna hook this up the garden hose to here turn your water on here I usually always turn it on real slow let it fill up before I went full glass in other words I never did a boom like that okay um, Inside is already, we've already put your resin in here, so these are ready to use, mm -hmm. okay? So if you want to do it with uh, the garden hose, hooking up to the customer's water, you can do that.
good is the enemy of great. There isn't any reason why you can't take your good pressure washing business and turn it into a great exterior cleaning business.